doing here is we are using Google Moderator to um, get a sample of the questions that the students have to create. They have a homework assignment where they have to read a book of the New Testament and then create questions from it. And so to begin our discussion, all the students log into Google Moderator and they post their best question and then they vote which one they like the most or the least and they rise to the top and then that begins um, our morning or afternoon here discussing the New Testament. Slater, turn forward in your desk. Yeah, you can. It's the projector. Okay, really? Now I can't submit. We've got 10 people of the 28 of you are in. Um, 11. <laughs> Right, that's no wonder. What is a holy kiss? <laughs> Arabia. And remember, this isn't just let me see if I can get mine to the top by voting no on everybody else's. <laughs> I'm here with Aaron Hammers, Bible teacher at Southfield Christian School. Um, Aaron, tell us about your use of Google Moderator in your Bible class. Um, in my New Testament survey class, one of the things that the students have to do is read through the entire New Testament. And what I want to get them used to doing is as they read, to ask questions. And so they have a homework assignment that as they read through, let's just say, the book of Luke, um, they need to formulate questions with the scripture reference. And the point is that they don't have the answer. Um, it's not to say, all right, bring a question and then answer it for the class. It's just to get them to question it. Um, so that we can begin to ask questions and find answers. So that's kind of the assignment. In the past, they've just written them down on paper, turned them in, and maybe we've talked about it in class. Um, and so that's kind of what we did. So now we use Google Moderator um, to kind of streamline that process a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And how often do you, do you use Moderator in the class? We'll use it um, once a week, uh, the first day of the week on Monday. That's when our homework is due, so they have a week plus the weekend to read uh, that book of the Bible and formulate their questions. So when they roll in uh, Monday morning, we pull out our iPads and we log in, and then we start submitting questions up. Nice. And then um, what do you do with the questions once they're submitted? So once they're submitted, the students then vote on the ones that they want to have answered or the ones that they don't as a class, and through moderator, the... Most popular rise to the top, and uh, that kind of will then uh, direct our discussion. Oftentimes, we're able to get through most of them, if not all of them. Um, but if if the whole class is putting in a lot of questions, then it'll get those ones that are, are just key to everyone and help to direct the discussion mm -hmm. for the day. What's been the response from students? You know, you've done paper in the past, and now they're using their iPads. Do they like it? They really love to uh, work with the technology, the iPad. And so there was one day where we had some technical issues and we weren't able to do it. And I had some students say, hey, are we going to do that? I really like doing it. Um, and I think some of it for the student side is it's just fun to put in their question and have their name up for everybody to see. So there's just that kind of fun side of it. Um, but I think, you know, we, we I give them a, a URL and they log in, they find it. And just to be able to do that... I think is you know feels kind of fun, um, mm -hmm. and so then to see it up and, uh, and then the voting you know can sometimes get a little bit out of hand because kids more like I want mine to be first, so they're voting down other people <laughs> to get there. So we got to work on that so that we get the real questions and it's not just fun. But you know using the technology is fun, and in the end we do get the questions up, we do get the questions answered, we do get a good class discussion. So some of that little fooling around still makes it kind of fun. We just gotta and my hope is it allows the students who sit in your back rows, you know, even though you don't want them to. And, and even you move them to the front, they still either don't interact or refuse to interact. This is a way in which they can interact. Their name is up, their question is up, they can participate. And also with our different learning styles. Some kids, you know, you can read, they can hear the question and not process it as well. But now it's on the board. And while we're discussing it, it's like, well, what's the question again? It's right there, up on the screen to be seen. Um, so I think it just facilitates a lot more learning. Mm -hmm. Good. So if a teacher was interested in using Google Moderator in their classroom, do you have any tips for how to do it effectively? Yeah, well, what I did when I first started was I went onto the site and I created um, the page for it or the 
kind of, um, you know, the screen for it so the students could go to it. But the URL for Google Moderator is pretty long. And so uh, bit.ly.com has a great uh, URL shortener. And so I will cut and paste the moderator into the bit.ly uh, box and it shortens it. But then if you register, which is free and simple, then you can customize it. So I usually customize it to my class. It'll say, you know, you know, bit.ly backslash NT Luke. And so kids can just type it in. It's really quick and it's really easy and it helps them out a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing um, that's, been, that's been helpful to use it. Um, and then also when I set it up, I invited certain teachers to try it out to see if I knew what I was doing and what was happening before I actually did it in the classroom so I would look like I knew what I was doing. Cool. Students have found it easy to use? Oh yeah, various. As long as I have the right URL, which so far I have, it goes right in, come, pops right up. I put in, you know, hey, please submit a question. They click submit question, nice big box. Box comes up, they type it in, submit, shoots them right to the site again, and there's is there and automatically scores theirs as one vote, and then they can go through and score everybody else's. Nice. It's really easy. Cool. Great. Thanks for sharing, Aaron.